guys. So the other day, I managed to rip my pants. I mean, look at that. Huge hole right in the back of the pant leg. Not much can be done to fix that. I suppose I could throw a patch over it, or perhaps even sew it, but they're perfectly fine from there up. So why bother doing any of that when I can simply turn them into shorts? So if you're like me and tragedy has befallen a pair of your pants that are still perfectly good from about the upper leg up, or if you simply have a pair sitting in your closet or dresser that you might be more fond of, were they shorts? This DIY video is for you. To do this project, you don't really need many things. You just need a good pair of scissors, preferably fabric scissors, some pins to kind of help mark where your measurements are, and you'll also need measuring tape. Before we jump into the part of the video where I show you guys how to do this, I would suggest that you first take, put the pair of pants on, and just measure from the top part down along the outer seam and down along the inner seam so that you know where about you want your shorts to come. So now you're going to take those measurements from the outer seam and from the inner seam and you're going to use the pins that you have to hold down your pants. You want to make sure that your pants are nice and flat and even so that when you make your cuts nothing gets jumbled and weird looking. So just kind of pull them tight, make sure the legs are sitting as they should be. And I happen to be doing this on a couch cushion. So I have the ability to just stick the pins right down into the cushion and it's really convenient. If this isn't available to you, then simply sticking the pins through your pants will work. And the tear on my pants comes a little bit high in the back, so this will be a bit of a shorter cut as far as shorts go. And I'm just sticking the pins right through the measuring tape so that I have a straight line to kind of guide me as I cut. Alright, we're ready to make our cuts. Make sure again that you have a good pair of scissors. Fabric scissors are preferable. I'm using the super shears from Cutco, which are quite nice and sharp. But if you don't have fancier scissors, then any scissors will do. Some will just be a little bit more difficult than others. All right, we've made our first cut. Our first leg is off. And as you can see, that achieved a pretty nice edge. It's not super tatter looking, but if you want to have tatter looking shorts, then the sky's the limit. You can make as many cuts as you wish. And what I'm doing now is I just decided to flip the pants in half so that I can now use um, the cut I just made as a guide for the other leg. That way they should be more or less even. Once again, we will be using the pins to hold down the pants so that everything should be straight. And I'm just following the line from the previous cut to make this new one. And we're done. After you've made both your cuts, just kind of lay them out, make sure everything looks about right. These turn out pretty well. Everything lays about as it should. No longer do we have a useless pair of pants, but in their place, 
We have a wonderful pair of shorts that you also have the satisfaction of saying you made yourself. And of course they won't come out perfectly straight. They were cut with scissors, not a machine that's made to do that sort of thing. And also feel free to hem them if you like. If you have some extra material, you can always hem them up so that they have that kind of rounded folded edge around the bottom. And these are a tad on the shorter side. So if you're not somebody who's into wearing shorter shorts, you can of course make them as long as you want. It all depends on the measurements you took in the beginning. And if you're just not sure how long you want them, I would suggest starting off a bit longer and then you can always just work your way up from there cutting off little pieces as you go. Less is more kind of a thing. Hopefully you guys found this DIY to be useful or provide some inspiration. So I will probably be doing more with these shorts in the future. Just kind of embellishing them a little bit, putting studs on them or even getting fabric paint and doing something just to make them a little bit more interesting instead of plain black denim. I don't know if I have said this in other videos, but you guys are always welcome to follow me on my other accounts. Death Pony for all of them. I have Instagram, Tumblr, Vine, Twitter, and Pinterest for all of your creepy, darkly inclined gothic metal needs. Um, and I also have links to all of those in the description below. I have a lot of things kind of figured out for future videos and I look forward to interacting with you guys some more. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Like this video if you found it useful, if it provided some inspiration for you, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!